reach beyond the darkness, beyond the grave, to an unexplored dimension as we travel to the mysterious realm of ghosts. Journey with us into the world of ghost stories. We travel to a small farm in Indiana to investigate this next story. It seems that some spirit apparitions can be summoned by a flick of a light. Hundreds of people have come to this farm site to see this ghostly site for themselves. Rensselaer, Indiana, a small farming community just 80 miles south of Chicago, known for its vast landscape and humble tranquility. It is also the site of one of the greatest unexplained mysteries of the century. Legend has it that Farmer Moody was chasing after his son's abductor in the darkness, guided solely by the light of his lantern from his tractor. After a gallant chase, the man escaped, leaving Moody's dead son behind. Out of despair, Moody hung himself. When he happened to hang himself right here on this particular tree, it's now a tree stump. Three flicks of your car lights are said to summon the spirit of Moody and his bright lantern light. Witness Bob Lemire recalls his own experience. And I've seen the light myself coming out here. I've seen it. We've came out here, and we flashed our lights like the legend says to, and we've seen the light come up down the road, get bright, and then seem to taper off as we went down the road. Lemire's startling home video footage documents his sightings. As he and his friend John approach the stump, they flick their lights three times. Witnesses claim the light can even appear at will as it did here. The two lights on the right are known objects, while the one on the left appears much closer. After a few minutes, they notice something strange. The light vanishes. A few moments later, it reappears much brighter. After hearing Lemire's story, we decided to investigate. The first step was to call Moody with our car lights. So go ahead, flick it three times. Now let's look in the distance to see if anything happens. Unfortunately, nothing was seen after several minutes. We tried again. Then it happened. A light from the cornfield appeared in the darkness. You can see it in the upper left-hand corner of your screen as our cameraman tried to zero in on it. We have circled it for easier identification. The light appears to be in the sky, but I assure you this is ground level. As you saw, we went from total blackness to the sudden appearance of this strange light. It was time to get a closer view of our findings. What we've got here that could be one logical explanation is this particular stop sign right here. This thing here gave sort of a, a reddish glow from about a mile and a quarter down. These other signs at the end of the road could have reflected light as well, but I was wondering where the source of a known light could have been. There was nothing out here. I mean, this is, this is absolutely endless. There, there's absolutely nothing out here whatsoever besides this. Upon returning to the tree stump, we were amazed at the amount of spectators gathered to see Moody's light. Among them was another witness with an even closer encounter. This gentleman, Doug, over here just told me a story that he was here last night. What did you see last night? Um, right up by the side of the road, there was a little body with a lantern just walking around, looking on the side of the road. You could see the whole outline of the body. It was bright yellow, and so was the lantern. Whatever skeptics may say, we were there and we saw this light appear from an origin not one of us could trace. The glow of Moody's light will continue to be one of our greatest mysteries. I thought everybody saw spirit and auras until later in life I was told not everybody sees. 